What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another cool Hi. video. Today we decided that we will each write down a couple of movies, mm. just the names, and then go onto IMDb and read the description to the other person. Mm. And the other person needs to try and guess what that movie is based on only the description. So this could be very interesting or very bad, mm. depending on, you know, if we can guess the movie or not. I, I know I'm not going to be good at I, this. I might do well or I might suck, depending on what it is she chose. <laughs> so that's the video for today. We hope you guys enjoy this one. And uh, the reason why I'm wearing this, it's yeah. cold as hell. So, okay, say. well, hell isn't cold. It's cold as f So... <laughs> But yes, that's cold? That's, but yes, that's that's why we're looking yeah, at this. And I've got my my. I'm only now realizing realizing <laughs> it has holes in it. <laughs> so I don't know how this is helping me against the cold, but it's quite nice and warm. Anyway, so y'all, yeah, please play the game along with us as well. Yes, and let us know how many you guys got right down in the comments. All right. So are you ready for the first movie? I'm I'm ready. Okay. Let me just okay. Found it. Okay, so the description of this film goes as follows. Two down-on-their-lap guys decide to fake their own deaths and start over with new identities, only to find the people they're pretending to be are in even deeper trouble. I'll give you a hint. It's on Netflix. Well, that helps a lot. <laughs> it doesn't help at all. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it 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 sounds familiar. But we watched it pretty recently, but, actually. But but at the same time, it sounds like a lot of stuff, like not just one movie. Um, <laughs> what is that thing? Uh, I'm thinking of that one with Adam Sandler. Is it that one? And David Spade. That's it. That's I, it. I just that's forgot it. the name. Okay, she's got it right. She she named the two actors. She knows what movie it is. It's called The Do Over. There we go. I'll, I'm gonna give that one to yeah. you. You, you knew what it was. You just forgot the name. I just forgot the name. So so that's one point for Sam. Okay, so my first movie plot for Matthew: Former United Nations employee traverses or traverses <laughs> the world. In a race against time to stop a pandemic that is toppling armies and governments and threatens to destroy humanity itself. I'll give you a clue. Contagion? No. Okay, give me a clue. <laughs> you already said that. Girl, give me a clue. Give me a clue. <laughs> we just pretend you didn't say that. Um, it's actually a movie that I introduced you to. World War Z. There we go. I knew if I'd said that, you'd know. World War Z. Because, because I must say, there are a lot of movies that are about, like, someone having to stop some kind of apocalypse happening of some sort. So, I, I had to give you a clue. Yeah. It, it sounded like Contagion, but then it, I, I, thinking about... Uh, yeah, World War Z. So, it's actually a pretty freaking dope movie. Yeah. We can recommend that and the previous one. We recommend... Oh, the previous one just... 16 and up, please. There's a lot of things in that the kids don't need to ask about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is 1-1. One, one. Let's see how this goes further. All right. My next movie. <laughs> an action thriller in which an insurance salesman slash ex-cop is caught up in a life-threatening conspiracy during his daily commute home. Wait. No. <laughs> a, a, a what? A, a insurance salesman? Slash ex-cop. To on his commute home. This is really difficult because it sounds familiar. And I know I've watched it. But now I don't know what it is. One, do you want a hint? Okay. The Conjuring. The Conjuring? Is it the, someone that plays in that movie that plays in it? Um, wait a minute. Is this not that movie with Liam Neeson on the train? 
The commuter. There we go! Yeah! That's two points for Sunny! <laughs> because the, only, the woman in The Conjuring is in that movie. And when I'm... Yeah, I just made the connection there. Otherwise, I don't think I would have gotten that. That's also a good movie. That is. That's that's a very good movie. <laughs> it's just that, that scene with the train at the end is a bunch of bulls. Never mind. <laughs> okay, my next movie for Matthew. Um, the plot is as follows. A detective investigates the death of a patriarch. Knives out. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, boy! This was, the, this was the sentence of a patriarch of an eccentric... Com- combat when, when you family. said patriarch, I immediately thought, okay, but it knives out the grandpa dies. I, I thought you would get that, but also if I said family, so it's like a whole family affair. Guys, that movie is really good. That is like, that is probably one of the best detective movies that I have seen. My favorite still is Sherlock Holmes, the two Sherlock Holmes movies, because Robert Downey Jr. is just insane. But that is a good movie. Yeah. Oh, it's just cold. It's cold! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so we are still tied at the moment with two two. Um, I'm doing better than I thought I would. You are. I'm. I'm actually surprised because I am with movies. No, this guy is the best. Like everyone knows already, and I'm like I know a lot more because of him. But I'm still not that good. But let's just see how I feel. All right. This this might be a tough one. This this might be a tough one. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Two hardened criminals get into trouble with the U.S. Border Patrol after meeting with a Mexican drug lord, and then revelations start to unfold. Two hardened what? Criminals. Okay, so they're bad guys. Mm. Mexican border. What's a hint that I can give you? Um, um, ah! This, this is a good hint. Bill Paxton is in this movie. Um, oh my word. I know who that is. I just can't remember anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm very sad that he's gone. Oh, he passed away, right? Yeah. Oh, that's sad. But I can't remember the last movie that I watched that had him in there. So now I can't even... <laughs> She's going to kick herself when I say the movie. I movie. know I'm going to. The um, movie. Okay, wait, wait. Tell, tell me when you give up. Um, she knows this movie. She actually liked this movie. Too hard and criminals, my goodness. Okay, this movie stars know. two of her favorite actors, Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg, and the movie is called Two, two Guns. Guns. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, man! When I read that description, I was like, oh, this is going to be a difficult one for Cindy. <laughs> and it was. Again, good movie. All of these movies we are talking about, I think most of you, if you haven't seen them, you can go watch them. There's something for you to do. (laughs) Hey, you get free recommendations while watching us try to battle it out. (laughs) Okay, so my third movie for Matthew. Oh, and the score is now uh, to to Stull, but now he has opportunity to go into the lead. So let's see if that happens. Okay, a team of explorers travel through a wormhole in space in an attempt to ensure humanity's survival. That movie stars Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway, and it's directed by Christopher Nolan, and it is called Interstellar, one of the best fucking sci-fi movies ever. Oh my word, that movie is... It's 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 quite heavy, in a sense, but that is a very good movie. That is, that is like... That was legit one of the coolest sci-fis I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, the best space travel movie I've ever seen. Yeah. Okay, so you got that one. So now you're in the lead. Three, two. Woo! Not that it surprises me. (laughs) (laughs) All right. This one, this can go either way. This is a real 50-50 here. So let's see. A spy organization recruits a promising street kid into the agency's training program while a global threat emerges from a twisted tech genius. A spy... Place and a kid gets recruited. What's a what's um, what's what's a hint? Okay, Michael Caine is in this movie. Michael Caine. Yo. Um. You guys, I'm struggling. <laughs> I was doing so 
well and now I'm just crashing. <laughs> um, um, there are so many spy movies. None like this one. Michael Caine. Oh my word. No, oh, that guy has been in so many movies. Okay. Um, okay, no. You this can... movie is called Kingsman, The Secret Service. Oh my word. <laughs> My it's like one of her favorite spy movies. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in my. <laughs> but it's it's weird when you when you phrase it in like a bit of a cryptic way. All of a sudden, well, for me, I don't know what the heck is going on with which movie I'm, we are talking about. I know it very well and I loved it, but I just don't know when when it's phrased in that way. Oh my goodness! Okay, so still three, two. Yes! So, my next one, fourth one. This movie tells the story of the first Special Forces team deployed to Afghanistan after 9 11. Under the leadership of a new captain, the team must work with an Afghan warlord to take down the Taliban. That movie stars Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> and it is called 12 Strong. Listen, you don't have to show <laughs> and director and the guy who did the special effects you don't have to do that <laughs> the only reason that I know it I I love that movie the first time I watched it I was like I was that hooked from very, beginning to oh, end and the end is so like yeah that was but in I, a nice way I, I even bought the blu-ray like the day after I watched that movie I bought the blu-ray that, that movie is and I'm not usually the biggest fan of those types of stuff but that I would watch again right yeah. now that's and it's got an awesome song in there as well. Mm. So, okay, this, th I'll be surprised if you don't get this one. Okay. Prepare to be surprised, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. <clears throat> okay, it's, there's an H in there. Thank goodness, I almost cussed. A pushy <laughs> boss forces her young assistant to marry her in order to keep her visa status in the US and avoid deportation to Canada. Her? So she's the boss. Mm -hmm. Um, wait a minute. Uh, and she comes. This is the guy to marry her. It's the one with Sandra Bullock and and Ryan Reynolds. Her favorite actor. The yes. proposal. Yes. <laughs> we watched that not too long ago. Yeah, it's, and it's oh, that is it's so funny. It is hilarious. I mean, you've got Ryan Reynolds in there. Who's that's that's already that's a selling point for me. And then you've got Sandy, who's just like this. Kind of a dick in this role. Hmm. And then the way that they just try to mess each other up basically the whole time. It's it's fucking <laughs> hilarious. It's it's such a funny movie. Yeah. That's that's a very funny movie. So so now it's four three. Is it three? I thought you had two. Yeah, now I have three because I got Oh three. yeah, 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 yeah. But that is my last chance. So three is as high as I'm going, but you might get five out of five. Let's see if this happens. Okay, I think now that I'm reading the description, I think you're going to get this, like, very quickly. Or well, I think so. Maybe this is the one that you struggle with, but I think you're going to get it quickly. Let's see. High strung father-to-be is forced to hitch a ride with an aspiring actor. That is due date with Robert Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis and Zach G. I knew the moment I said the second guy, you would know what it is. Okay. If you guys haven't seen Due Date, well done. do yourselves a favor and watch that. Robert Downey Jr. is hilarious in this movie, as well as Zach, Gilef D Zach G. He's, he's very funny in this movie. Well done! You got five out of five. Oh. You win. Ah. Well done. Okay, so let us know in the comments how many of these you guys guessed right <laughs> as we read the, 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 the description, mm -hmm. because we'd want to know that. Um, also... If you guys want us to do another one of these, it is extremely possible because there are billions of movies <laughs> that we could do. Yep. And, uh, you know, like we, we have no problem doing that. Um, go follow our social media links. Mm -hmm. Then you can uh, see what the hell we're up to on there as well. <laughs> and uh, if you guys have any other suggestions for us, stuff you'd like to see us do on the channel, let us know in the comments as well. Mm -hmm. And then we will see you guys again next week.